After 10 years of waiting, Mountain Blade is set for return at the end of March 2020 with Bannerlord. As it will be early access, not everyone will be willing to pay for an unfinished product. How about returning to Mountain Blade Warband, but this time using one of the many excellent overhaul mods to bring new life to the game? We'll discuss the basics of modding Warband, some tips and tricks, and a touch on modding the mod. My name is Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and this is How to Mod Mountain Blade Warband. Whether you are adding small touches to the base game, referred to as native, or installing an overhaul like my personal favorite, Prophecy of Pandor, the newest haunt overhaul, Banner Page, which I would term as native plus plus, or one of the many other fine choices, it all starts with file directories. No mod managers here, baby. This is old school modding. Let's take a look. Now, once you've installed Mountain Blade Warband, it doesn't matter how you get it, whether it's from GOG or Steam or wherever else, it's going to install somewhere on your, wherever you keep your games. Now for Steam, and for me, it would be Games Drive. That's my hard drive where I keep all my games. Steam, Steam Apps, Common. The directory will be slightly different for everybody depending on your setup, but you will find Mountain Blade Warband. When you open that up, you'll know you're in the right spot because there is the mb underscore warband.exe. This is the right place. This is the game's main directory. Now, you're looking for a folder called modules, and when you open that up, this is where your modules will be. This is native. This is the base game, the vanilla game. If you also see here, I have Prophecy of Pandora Old. That is 3.9.4, but I've renamed it Old because it also tells me that I've modded it. If you are installing a new game, whether you get it from ModDB, the Nexus, or any other source, you're going to need to install the main overhaul mod inside this folder. If you are installing a mod that overhauls just a few files in native, it will be in native. Inside here, you'll find data, languages, music, all these different things. If you were to look at the launcher for Mountain Blade Warband, you'll see native is the first choice. You'll have play the game, configure, cancel, whatever else you have. And then over here, you have a drop down. It will show Prophecy of Pandora Old, which is the other choice that you have available to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that back to native. If you are, for instance, modding native only, I would go ahead and make a copy of it, copy, and paste it back in, and then rename it to modded. And the reason for this is twofold. You don't want to be messing around with your vanilla experience game. You just don't want to mess around with the files and then have to reload the game from Steam or wherever you got it. And it's just a pain in the butt. Now you can freely mod this one and not worry about it. If we were to go back in, and reload it, now we have native, native modded, and Prophecy of Pandora Old. You can see where we're going with this. We're gonna close that down for the time being. I think you get the point on this. You choose the mod that you're going to play. Where are your saves kept? Well, if you've been playing on native and then you create a new file modded, it will not create a save within that file. Your files for your saves are created elsewhere, and that is in your documents folder. And PC, documents, Mountain Blade Warband Save Games, and you can see this is the last days, Prophecy of Pandora 3.9.4, and my current playthrough of Prophecy of Pandora Old. And inside that, I have my save games. That's very important because if you create a new folder here, or whatever game it may be, your save game will not can carry over if you just copy them over because your save games are elsewhere. Very important to know. If you go get a mod from wherever you want to get it, whether it's from Nexus Mods or ModDB or whatever the source may be, you'll go ahead and get one of the overhaul mods and it'll, for the decisions, I have Prophecy of Pandor 3.9.5 and I have Banner Page, the very first version. And you'll get a, a zip file like this and you put it on your desktop and whether you open it with 7-Zip or WinRAR or however you want to do it, when you open this up, you'll find Prophecy of Pandora 3.9.5. Now we can drop that in there. It'll take a second because these are quite large files. And there we have 3.9.5 and banner page. It'll be basically the same process. Banner page, drag it over, drop it in. And it, of course, is even larger, so give it some time. And there we have. We now have banner page native, native modded if I were to do that. 
My old Prophecy of Pandora 3.9.4, which I've called old, and Prophecy of Pandora, the newest for and final version at 3.9.5. We can now close those down. If we were to restart Mountain Blade and hit our drop down, we have choices galore. We have Prophecy of Pandora, native, native modded, and banner pages right at the top because it's alphabetical. See, that's how that works. And now you can just go ahead and play whichever version you want without having to worry about things. And new save files will be created in your documents tab where you can save them, delete them, get rid of them, whatever you want to do. So that's how you do the basics. Now, what happens when you start to mod the mod? Well, in this case, I definitely want to be modding Prophecy of Pandora 3.9.5. So in this case, let's go ahead and make a copy of it and paste it back in and do the same thing. I'm going to let it load in. And then I'm going to rename it, of course, into 3.9.5 modded. This way I can safely make all my changes to this version of the mod and not worry about any problems. Now, how do you start modding the mod? Well, there are a number of text files in here that will control the game. And when you open this up in Notepad++, and I recommend always opening these in Notepad++, because Notepad doesn't do a very good job. You'll see line after line after line of line after line of code. And they're all basically the same thing. And the key to modding these things is to adjust the lines of code inside the text. So where do you get the tweak? Well, in Mountain Blade Warband, all these mods of the initial code is called a tweak. And there are lots of sources available to you. Uh, my suggestion is either to go into, for this case, Prophecy of Pandora 3.95. For the nurse version, there is a list of tweaks. Now, we're going to have to wait a while before I do some of these tweaks, because quite frankly, there are a number of tweaks here that are all designed for 3.9.4. So we may have to wait a couple weeks before all these are tested out, or you can start testing them yourself. And it will tell you exactly what tweaks be found in a section and how to change it by changing the different text files inside of that folder, as we talked about. In this case, menus.txt, menus.txt, you open that in Notepad++ and you'll have all this stuff. And then you have to go search using the control F function to find what you're looking for and then change it accordingly to the instruction scene here. You can also go down to the Tail Worlds forum and look up tweaks, and there will be plenty and plenty and tons and tons of tweaks for you to try in your game. But once again, I suggest making a copy of it so you're not messing with the original files and you have to download the whole thing over again. That way, if you make a mistake, it's in your modded. You can throw it away. You don't care about it anymore. Start over. The other option is to use a tool called Morg Troop Editor. And I actually have a copy on my desktop. And it is wrong folder in my modding tools. And you can see Morg's Mountain Blade WB WFAS Editor.exec. And you may be asking me, Cal, where do I get this? Well, I'll tell you. You go to terrafluxus.net Morg Pages Morg's WMB WB WFAS Editor. And I'll put this link down in the description so you don't have to find it elsewhere. And you can get this editor and you can try it out. Now, what does it do? It will tell you everything it does, but you hit download and then you'll eventually get this file. And what it does, it allows you to modify the values of weapons, troops, troop trees, uh, party compositions, all sorts of different things. And it's fairly easy to use. Now, there's a couple of things. You have to be able to choose the right folder that you've selected. In this case, let's accept it. And you can see troop editor, parties editor, party templates editor, factions editor, item editor. Well, we have to change the module settings because we are going to point it at the Prophecy of Pandora 3.9.5 modded. Let's click on change module settings right here. And you'll go in and you browse and it will direct you to your games drive. Steam in my case, Steam Apps, Common, Mountain Blade Warband, Modules, and we are going to choose 3.9.5 modded as an example, and we click OK. 
There we go. That is now proper. And we can now save that configuration for next time it will be back in. Configuration saved. And we can now start editing items. All the items are listed in the game because it's now pulling the data from the module. And you can now change, let's say, the tutorial battle axe. It'll show you the item ID, the name single, plural, what it is, and all of its values are over here. How much it weighs, how the abundance, the hit points, speed, weapon length, the weapon damage, the type of weapon damage it is. In this case, thrust, which seems odd for a battle axe, but or pierce, which seems odd for a battle axe. But you can change all these different factors. Once you're done changing any values for any of the items, you want to hit update item number three, which is the tutorial battle axe, and then save changes, and then you'll let's just hit it and see what happens. Hit update item. It'll then give you all the code that goes along with that item. Press OK. And then hit save changes. Do you want to create a timestamp backup of items kinds one.txt? Yes, we want to do that. That way, if you made a mistake, you're already done. And you can close it down. If you were to go back into Mountain Blade Prophecy of Pandora version 3.9.5 modded and go in there, you will find a backup right there. And that is your backup. It'll be dated and timed for your convenience. We can go ahead and just delete that. I don't need it. Now, the same thing goes with your troop editor. You have to reopen morgues every time you want to change something, but we've already saved the module settings. We go into troop editor. Now you can see all the different troops that you'll be modifying or have the ability to modify. Let's just say a Melantine Infantry. It'll give you the information about the name of it, whether what the troop ID number is, is troop ID number 414. That's very important when you're messing with things. It will tell you that's faction, the upgrade path. So you can actually change what it will become later on. And then all the items that you have available to you. And there's a lot more to this and you can actually play with it and you can add new troop types, a whole bunch of different things, but read about it, know what you're getting into, and then you can play around with it. And you've also got a save of it because it's modded. So you don't have to change anything. That's the beauty of it. So that's it for now, guys. That's the basics. If you look up those different mods that I've talked about, look up the different item editors, whether it's morgues, whether it's some other tools out there that you may find, and play around with Mountain Blade Warband and mod it to your heart's content while we wait for Bannerlord. It's going to be fun. In the meantime, my name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.